Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today I want to show you one of my favorite tools in Lightroom. It's something that I only picked up late last year, so pretty recently, but it's sped up my workflow and it's made fine tuning things very, very easily. So if you haven't used this before, I'm sure you're going to start to now. Within your selective editing tools, you have an option to narrow down what is actually being targeted. I've pulled up three photos where I can show you some examples on how to do this and where it comes in handy. So we're going to go right off the bat onto the first one and we'll start with this one. So I've already done a few tweaks here and there, but the reason why I picked this photo was for this right here. I want to lift all these white sections and really make them pop. In the past, what I would have done would be grab the brush, put a point, and kind of start painting. But that's pretty time consuming. If you want to be a little bit more detailed, you'll use the auto mask and so on. But what you can do is select the whole area, just like that, boom. And then what you're gonna do is come down here where it says range mask and then turn that on. You see you have two options to go by color or by luminance. For this one, since we wanna attack the bright parts, we're gonna go with luminance. Now you get this slider and a little show luminance mask option. We're gonna click that. And then here with this range, we decide what level of luminance we wanna be targeting. So since I want the bright parts, I'm gonna start pulling away from the dark areas and you're gonna start seeing that those areas are gonna start coming out of the selection. So basically you're gonna decide where is good enough. Um, you can also make this more extreme by removing the smoothness um, like that. And now you have a very, very specific mask, which would have been almost impossible to do in Lightroom otherwise. Now we're gonna take off the show luminance mask and now we can come in here and lift the whites. And you can see obviously this is exaggerating to make a point, but now you have control over this whole area and you can create really, really strong contrast by targeting those specific areas. Vice versa, you could do the same exact mask, but do the opposite. You would come down here, you would go luminance, you would show luminance mask, but then instead of selecting the bright areas, you would select the dark areas. So you would be pulling from the opposite side. So you'll see how now it's just targeting the dark areas. Something like that is good. Um, then we'll come up here and then we can either go with the shadows or maybe with the blacks to make it a little bit more extreme. So yeah, hopefully you can see how this can be applied to making very specific edits in a way that brushing would just take too long and I feel like learning how to make your workflow a bit more efficient will come in handy, especially when you're dealing with a lot of photos. All right, so let's get into the next example. This one we're gonna be looking at the color. So we're gonna hit develop. I've also already done a few little edits here and there, but what I wanna target is the water. I like it, it's clean, it's clear, but I wanted to have a little bit more of that blue. However, if I just target the saturation in the HSL, you see that it's targeting the sky mostly, but there's not a lot of that blue hue in the water, even with the aqua. So what I'm gonna do here is do another linear gradient and then come down, range mask, and we're gonna click color. Now you have this little eyedropper tool. So what you're gonna do is click that and then come into the photo and select the color that you wanna be targeting. So you can see that now a little dropper has been dropped here. Now if I hit O to see the mask, it's basically targeted the exact area that I want. Maybe it's a little off, but then with the amount, you can kind of fine tune that. Also, if there's multiple colors that you want to be targeting at the same time, all you have to do is click shift and you'll see a little plus next to the dropper. That means that you can now click multiple colors at once. So now that we've made that selection right here, we can just come up. And because there wasn't much color originally, if I move the saturation, it doesn't do what I want. I'm gonna to come to the color, click that, and select the blue. Not that much, but you can just dial it back until you have a very nice realistic blue. And there we go. There's before, and there's the after. As you can see, that was really quick. Old me would have painted through, zoomed in, gone around the flamingo. That would have taken forever. So hopefully that's another thing you can apply to your workflow. Um, I'll have one more example for you really quick. This is a photo that was pretty close to done. What I wanted to do here to just finish up the photo is add a little bit more contrast to some areas. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a radial and then I'm gonna select this rock right here. I want to create more dynamic between the light and the dark areas. Now, old me would have painted this whole section and kind of gone between these rocks and then brought down the shadows there. But what I can do is just create a soft radial here then go down, hit range mask, hit luminance, show luminance, and then mask out those bright parts. 
something like that. We unclick that and then we come up and now we can drop the shadows. As you can see, it's targeting exactly what I wanted. On the opposite side, I wanna bring a little bit of light to this little bush right here. So I just wanna target the bright areas. So I can do another linear here, something like that. And then come down, hit range mask, luminance, show luminance. And then we're gonna mask out all the dark parts and just keep the light part selected, something like that. Now we come up and then we can lift those whites. So now you have something very natural and realistic while being faster at editing something like this. So there you have it. I hope you learned something new. I know that when I stumbled upon this, it totally changed the way I did my selective edits. Um, if you enjoy this video, don't be afraid to hit the like button. And if you're interested in more content like this, hit subscribe because I'm going to be posting a lot more stuff. Thank you.